Correction, runway 27 right, traffic off your left, about a half a mile, 4,400 for the parallel flank. Today we head south to San Diego to visit an airport that has one of my favorite approaches, Gillespie Field. And as you heard with Tower, this airport gets extremely busy. Between its FBOs, avionics shop, maintenance shop, flight schools, restaurants, flying club, and even homes. Yeah, homes. We'll get to see those a little later. There is never a shortage of traffic. Oh, and I almost forgot. They even have banner towing operations. And on this day, there was so much traffic. I had to be extended on the downwind. That's why I'm so far from what is typically making a base along this hill on the right side. This is why I love this approach. Coming in between two hills with a runway right in front of us. This is one of those airports that began because of World War II. It was originally a Marine Corps parachute facility. And then by 1944, they phased out the Marine Corps parachute units. And in 1946, with the war over, San Diego County leased it and made it a public airport. One of the things that we've been wanting to do when visiting Gillespie is go to the San Diego Air and Space Museum Annex. It's located on the north side, but we park on the south side, so we figured we'd have to get an Uber until we did what should have been obvious from the beginning and research the website and see if there's any information about parking. And on their website, which we will link in the description below, it says to contact them for aircraft parking. This was definitely a facepalm moment. I couldn't believe I hadn't checked this sooner. But we'll definitely be visiting the museum next time and now you guys know how easy it is to do. A quick tip about getting to Gillespie is if you're outside of the San Diego Bravo, ask for the San Diego Bravo transition when you come in. Now you might not get it, but it's definitely worth asking. I usually get it and it'll make your life so much easier instead of having to worry about being under the Bravo and around the terrain. But always flight plan as if you won't get clearance into the San Diego Bravo. Cherokee 3 9 Hotel, cross runway 27 left, Delta 2. For correction, hold short runway 27 left, remain the frequency. Hold short 27 left, remain frequency 3 9 Hotel. So right in front of us are the homes that I mentioned earlier. When I first came here, I had no idea that these even existed here. And then I thought it was the most amazing thing for these people to live right on the airport. Really completely jealous. My wife and I always work as a crew and here's her making sure I go through my checklist. All right, make sure lean for taxi. For taxi, flaps up. Laps up. Fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. Landing light off. There's two here, Charlie. Right down approved runway two seven right clear for takeoff. Traffic mile five. Thunder, right down when approved here for takeoff. Two here, Charlie. Yeah, we're good. Cherokee three nine hotel. No delay. Cross runway two seven left on Alpha. Uh, correction. Delta two. Contact ground. No delay. Crossing. Crossing two seven left and contact ground three nine hotel. Quick tidbit here that we learned from our friends at John Wayne Tower is that the taxiways between runways belong to Tower. So that's why you don't change over to ground until you've cleared all runways. Left to ground, area 1939 Hotel, clear of 27 left at Delta 2 for West Transit parking. Number 1903 Hotel, let's be ground, taxi via Delta. Taxi via Delta, 39 Hotel. Yeah, those houses are freaking amazing. Anyways, 
if you come here for the cafe, know that you would usually make a left on Delta. What I'd recommend, because there's only about 10 spots near the cafe, and it's not transient parking, it really strictly is for short-term cafe visit, is ask for cafe parking, taxi that way, and check if there's any parking there, because there might not be. And to be honest, the parking is really confusing. What I would suggest is just park on the road directly to the east of the restaurant. And maybe in the future, we'll do a series of where's cafe parking. But for today, we'll stick to transient. Oh, and don't forget, you can always ask Tower where exactly cafe parking is. So if you guys have seen our Chino video, you guys remember that we were doing uh, circles trying to find where to park. Eventually we asked Tower. Well, that happened here again, except we didn't ask Tower, but we did go in circles. Keep in mind though that here, Tower has no visibility on the West Transient parking. While you guys are getting the scenic tour of transient parking there are tie down chains here like most places some of the links on the end of the chain sometimes they're too bent so always have your own straps with you we had that problem one of the tie downs we couldn't get around our hook so we had to use our own straps something to keep in mind Envelopes to pay your overnight tie down parking fees are located southeast of this parking area. And as you can see, there's plenty of parking. You'd be hard pressed not to find a spot here. And that's mainly the reason why we just park here instead of trying to go find parking at the cafe and then possibly having to come back. All right, it's time for our checklist. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It helps so much. If you don't want to miss our next video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport or all the information we try to compact to give you guys, please leave a comment. Let us know. All right, checklist complete.